So it turns out we're in the wrong building, so we have to go to the other Google building. So this room is called Down Under, there's tables here, and if you have the Google anti-gravity boots, you get to sit on the tables here. <laughs> We're just currently not wearing our anti-gravity boots. <laughs> Foolproof! <laughs> this is it. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Next up, Google So I don't think we can tell you what this meeting's about. Thank you so really much. to meet you, we'll talk soon. 100%. There's a taxi right there, can you oh, yeah, let's go. run for it? Yeah. Hello. What are you looking for, babe? I don't know, just browsing. <laughs> See you later. Ten minutes in a makeup store and I, I really, really, really want to get out. <laughs> I find it ever so stressful. <laughs> it's very fun in there. There's nothing for me in there either. Like, I'm just dead bored. <laughs> now that we've been to this makeup store, I think I've earned my right to go and have a little bit of a look around the Apple store. I don't actually need anything from the Apple store, but it's always good to just go and check and make sure that there's nothing I've not missed. You need to make sure you have the entire Apple store in your cupboard, right? <laughs> um, so the actual reason we've come out shopping this morning is because Pia recorded a hair tutorial yesterday Yeah. and she wasn't happy with it. Well, the lighting was just all over the place. It literally went like really bright and then suddenly really dark and all that. So we wanted to come out and try and get a lighting kit that we could put on my kind of beauty table. Mm. And now we've got completely distracted and spent lots of money at a beauty store and haven't got any lighting yet. Right, so we've just got to the camera shop. Um, so hopefully they have the lighting we need. So if you look at my last tutorial, where I'm kind of sitting there's like a window on this side. So one side is like totally blown out and really really white and the other side is like dark basically, like there's no light there. And I've only got a front on ring light, pardon? Yeah, the kitchen's over there so it's like away from the window. So what I need to try and do because I want to do a lot more stuff where I kind of just chat to you guys and do you know like tutorials and things like that so ideally what I'd like is two extra lights coming from the side there so I can balance it out yeah. and then I won't have issues with the lighting going up and down so much so that's what I'm trying to do so this is what we're looking at it's probably, probably a little bit too bright <laughs> what do you think perfect <laughs> and the cool thing is check this out ready you can how do you adjust the warmth I don't know oh this one. That one. Look, so you can make it like mood lighting <laughs> or daylight. It's cool, hey? Yeah. Stepping up our game, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Look, this is now really soft. <laughs> I've got like green dots. <laughs> Pierre's got to that point where she's checking the bank balance. <laughs> Don't tell people. This is an investment, alright? This is business. This is an investment for you guys. Yeah. See, we're going to put in effort into these videos. So don't use ad blockers. It's not cheap. I want to be well lit. It's not cheap. <laughs> yeah, so that skills better in terms of aperture. What do we reckon? Is that too big for daily vlogging? <laughs> Probably, right? Babe, why are you buying all this stuff? Because <laughs> I'm going to try and be good at videos. <laughs> okay, so just to show you guys, this is where I normally do my makeup and my hair and makeup and tutorials and things like that. So we do want to get a little bit more into doing those kind of things and things like Q&As and stuff. So we thought we should have a bit of a better setup with lighting because my last tutorial I did was absolutely disastrous lighting. It wasn't disastrous but it certainly was not perfect. The only thing we've had for lighting so far is this. Ring light. 
So that's why you see little circles in my eyes because I literally was stacking that there and then putting my tiny little Sony camera on there and I would just do my hair or makeup or whatever while I show you guys how to do it. Now we're stepping things up a few notches and we're going to be able to, I think, balance our light a bit better. This is just now for show. We bought this mirror thinking that that would be cool. Unfortunately, orange lights are not very good for recording. It makes her look like super orange. Yeah. If you saw the last hair video that she put up, her this side of the, of the picture was so bright, it was all bleached out, and every time her arm moved into shot, or her hair came into shot too much, it kind of, it unbalanced the camera's autofocus, and then the next minute it was all bleached out, and it wasn't very good. Yeah. So we kind of realized that we shouldn't be using a really cheap point and click camera. Mm. So we've got a new camera. It's not actually a new camera, it's my old Canon 5D Mark III. It's very, very good, but it also does have all the settings and features that will enable us to do kind of set it up and leave it and it would just be good every time but we do need some more lighting which is what we did today so what we're trying to do today is prop the cannon up in there which we have no idea how to do yet <laughs> and then put the ring light around it and put one small light facing in from this way and one bigger light facing in from that way so we can kind of counteract the huge you know, sunlight <laughs> from out there and have a bit more control and balance over our lighting. We've probably gone a little bit overall with lighting seeing as this is our front room. Basically, I'm gonna make my makeup table an in-house studio. And I will never be able to watch TV again. I'm excited. Let's get set up. What are we doing? We're gonna keep this here. Yep. We actually need to figure out how to attach this to a small tripod or something. Yeah. Oh, it's actually pretty easy. Okay, this won't be too hard. <laughs> We had to buy a new tripod is because this is going to become a pretty fixed thing mm. we're not going to move this so we've actually kind of attached I don't know if you can see that attached the bottom of the tripod to this light ring that's the plan is right. this the lens that we're gonna have on it yeah it's but a big does lens it have to be that long? that's what she said no it's a really good lens yeah, you're gonna that's have to gonna be like right up in my face <laughs> you're gonna have to sit back a bit it'd be interesting to see if our next tutorial or Q&A or whatever sitting down video is oh no. <laughs> oh no! You're such a muppet! I knew I did something wrong. Do you reckon that's stable? Mm. At that level? Not particularly. Second light for this side. I'm just going to pop it up here, I reckon. This is what I'm really excited about. This is a screen, like a, literally an external screen that's gonna fit on top here. So it'll be like having a mirror. Let me show you this, this is super cool. Okay, so this, that's the screen. It looks like a really big iPhone, but it's actually a full, like a proper computer monitor, but just tiny. Crazy, hey? So it has USB for power, it has HDMI in and out. I don't know why you want out, but it does. And it also works with batteries for my camera. Exactly the same batteries that this thing works on. So basically, if we are ever traveling and Pia doesn't have a mirror, she can use that as a screen, which is handy because this camera here, the 5D Mark III, doesn't have a screen flip out, which is very annoying. What we're gonna do next is focus. This little light here, it's very cool, it's just a load of LEDs and you can decide whether it goes sunshine or cold light. This thing here slides in and it makes the light just a little bit less harsh on Pia's very sensitive face. Alright, memory card two, here we go. We're almost finished. It's really actually working. Why is she so surprised? In the past we've tried to do these sort of things and it's always like a cable missing or like something that you need to attach to something it doesn't quite work but we kind of just made this up while we were in the camera store and it's like, it's gonna be pretty epic. Yeah, this is gonna work really well. All right, are we ready for lights on? Yeah! Wow! Oh, that is so awesome. Very check, fluttering Check lighting. this out. Look at that lighting. So this is the rig, this is what we've got. We've finally finished. Good. 
All right, can you just talk through what we've got right now? Okay, so, so here we've got the Canon 5D Mark III. Yep. Um, we've got a small HD monitor here so that we can see ourselves and check whether or not I'm in focus or not. Yep. Um, here we've got an Aurora ring light around it. Now that ring light's pretty expensive, isn't it? That's 500 bucks. Yeah, here we've got a, um, what do you call this? Um, well, it's a soft box on the top of an LED, just an LED light, basically. It's nice because you can then adjust the warmth, as you can see. Mm-hmm. And here is a smaller version of that. Oops, sorry. And that's just sitting on a little Manfrotto tripod. And now you can see that light is way more even. I think we should do a tutorial today just to check it out, don't you? I know, I really want to. That's incredible. But the background is even darker, but... Yeah, I mean, we can figure that out. 